Hello, and welcome back to Utterly Understandable. With me today is Hamish Geston, SVP of Dairy at Austin Data Labs. Hamish, there's a lot of talk about, you know, supply chain disruptions, uh, a lot of talk about higher prices, um, you know, where we are in the commodity cycle. And, you know, when we think about these how, uh, higher prices, how will they impact upon dairy consumption? Okay. Yeah, no, good question, Robbie. Um, look, I mean, it kind of depends on what horizon you're looking at. Um, but ultimately, in the short term, um, it's not going to impact consumption overall, um, as the prices have been driven high by, by demand being greater than supply. Um, now, while saying that, um, how dairy is used, in which regions and what applications will shift as it becomes relatively unaffordable in some regions um, to be able to afford these higher prices. So, so I'll contrast a different couple of different products. So, so some products such as infant formula, which can't really be substituted for an alternative, and also margins are typically high for the manufacturer, there'll be little or no impact I would expect. However, if you look mm -hmm. like a, look at a product like milk powder, where consumption is in sort of um, uh, lo like lower GDP per capita countries like um, Africa, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East, we'll see a number of changes. Um, first, um, there'll be a move to smaller pack sizes, um, so I sell a smaller quantity for the same price. Um, we'll also see a move towards fat-filled milk powders um, as an ingredient, um, which is essentially skim milk powder with the fat replaced. Um, by a cheaper vegetable oil, um, and the lactose is replaced by a cheaper carbohydrate. But this has a kind of slightly perverse impact because it will actually increase the demand for protein solids, so skim milk, while reducing demand for hot milk powder. So, so it's quite complex in how it sort of plays out. Um, looking at then fat prices, so um, AMF and butter, um, which has shown the greatest price in, in, increase, and a significant narrowing of the spread between the two products. Uh, so for instance, right now, AMF and butter on GDT are essentially selling for the same price of around 7,000 US dollars a ton. Whereas in theory, AMF should sell at a premium of 20% to butter as it has a higher fat content. So for manufacture of these products with product mix flex between the two, um, they will be busy making as much butter as they can at the expense of AMF production to try and bring these products back into line and reduce the arbitrage um, between the two. And so that's kind of short term impacts. Um, in the medium term, um, there will be a reduction in, in demand as the above actions to substitute away from dairy occur. Um, and prices will come down, but then demand will come back as dairy has unique function, functionality and flavour characteristics that consumer value. So um, yeah, I, I mean, expect to as with all, like it's called a commodity cycle for a reason, um, that it will go down um, as, uh, as uh, demand reduces and supply increases in response to prices, and then um, and then it'll come back and stabilise again at the long term sort of average. So um, that's that's my quick view. Um, Robbie, do you have anything to add? Yeah, um, I think uh, what one sort of thing maybe just call out a bit more explicitly what you were alluding to there is. In the short term, you know, there will be these differences amongst the products themselves and we will reallocate milk where we can from one product to another so that our streams, our product streams as a whole converge. Um, yes. And, you know, this is, this is effectively what we're expecting to see, you know, with our AMF and butter situation. Those that can will flex um, into butter to, you know, capture that higher premium on the fat. And I think that's kind of yeah, exactly. worth bearing in mind that in the short term, our products may differ, whereas in the more medium to long term, our product stream should converge. And we talk more about holistically, is milk more expensive or less expensive? And what are the implications on that? Um, so yeah, yeah, it's another uh, interesting chat. Um, oh, insightful as always, Hamish. So thank you very much for your time and thank you for joining us again on another episode of Utterly Understandable. We look to see uh, you next week.